Right, good morning class. Good morning, sir. You guys had homework. The homework was exercise 5 and uh, uh, worksheet 5 and 6 of book A, correct? Yes. Of uh, worksheet 6. I think I have got 6 first. It was the second column, correct? Yes. Uh, 5. 5, it was the second column. Not so? Yes, and I asked you to replace that with a plus between it, okay? Yes, nice. So, the first answer is going to be x plus y. Then I'm left with 9a squared x and 12b squared x. Then I would have taken 3x out as a common factor. Then I'm left with 3a squared plus 4 Right, you got it. Let's look at the next one. We've got the first common factor there of x plus 1. Then I'm left with 9a squared, 9ax squared plus 12b. Then what is now common? 3. Then I've got 3ax squared plus 4b. Or not to be. No? Yes. The next one. What is common here? A minus b. I take a minus b, what out what am I left with? 10xy squared plus 5x squared y in this bracket. Then in that bracket I got 5xy that is common. Did I left with? 2y plus plus x, okay? Who is calling the wrong answers up? Who is, who is sorry? Huh? You're calling the wrong answers out of purpose? No, sir. No, you made a mistake in the homework. No, sir. By calling it out. <laughs> I thought maybe you had to come to, to after classes, afternoon classes. You're fine. <laughs> you don't call out the wrong answers. Now you're making me worry. Right, next. What is common? A, a plus 3. I take A plus 3 out of my left tooth. 4x plus 2. Then what is common? 2. two. Then I'm left with 2x plus. The last one, what is common here? X minus 1. What we left with? X squared minus x cubed. Now what's common? X squared. So between the two is x squared. So it's x minus y. Whoops, what is that? And then I got? 1 minus x. Okay, any issues here? No. No issues with the sums, no? It's our lives that's the problem. Right, what was this here? Perfect square triangle. Not some. We see the perfect, who can remember the form of the perfect square triangle? It must be in the form of a, a square plus or minus. 2ab plus c You see, that will always be plus. I forgot to mention that yesterday. It will always be plus. If it's not plus, cannot be factorized. Okay. That factorizes into a plus or minus b squared. Not so. Yeah, because if this is plus here, then that is plus. If that had to be minus, it was not both, it was one of the two. Okay, that is grade 10, sorry about that. Don't have to get scared. The nice part about this recording is, next year, before the lesson, you can watch the lesson that is coming the next day. Okay, then you should be doing much better than this. Okay. You will watch the lesson. You'll see the lesson twice. Okay. So like I'm indicating here, that would have to be minus, and that would have been minus. You will understand? Yes, sir. Right. So let's see it. This is going to be? X. X, the square root of x squared is x. Square root of 9 is 3. Squared plus or minus? Plus. plus because that is plus. If that had to be a minus, I would have put a minus. Let's check for the middle term. What's x times 3 times 2? 6x, which is correct. Let's go to number 3. What's the square root of x squared? 
x. What's the square root of uh, 49? Huh? Seven. Plus or minus? Plus. Let's check the middle term. x times 7 times 2? 14. 14x. Let's go to the next one. What's the square root of 4x squared? 2x. What's the square root of 1? 1. What's 2x times 1? 2x. Times 2? 4x. That's in order. The next one. What is the square root of 9x squared? 3x. Plus or minus? Plus. Square root of 25y squared? 5y squared. Let's check for the middle term. 3x times 5y? 50xy. Times 2? 30xy. So that's in order. Let's look at the next one. Square root of x squared? Square root of 100? Plus or minus? Let's check for the middle term. x times 10? Times 2? 3x. Okay. You say that our work was lekker, but you write it all the answer down from the board. Oh, what's the second step? What, what comes before the answer? The, the previous exercise that is here. The next one? What's the square root of 4x squared? 2x. Square root of 81? Plus or minus? Yes. Check the middle step. Two, uh, middle term. 2x times 9? Times 2? 36. So yes, you are on track. Not so? The next one. The square root of 4x squared? 2x. Plus or minus? Yes. Square root of 49? 2x times 7? 14x times 2? 28 x Okay. You got the y. My mistake. If you don't even give me a chance to make a mistake. Yes. For now, yes. Yeah. Later on, we'll ruffle your feathers. And then you'll, you'll see it won't always be screwed. But for now, let's, 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 let's enjoy ourselves. <laughs> no? The next one. The square root of 9 x squared? 3 x. Square root of 10? 100? Ten. Plus or minus? Minus. minus? minus, because that's minus. 3x times 10 times 2? 30. Negative 30. No, negative 16. X. 3x times 10 is negative 30. X times 2 is negative 60. X. Hey, problem. What is the problem? It is not in the order that we are familiar with. Not so. So what do I do? No, we don't skip. We said swap it around. So we're going to get it in the form that we need it to be in. Not so. Take us Mickey Mouse off here. So what, what would it be? X squared plus? Plus 9. Yes? But isn't this... 3 squared. <laughs> Which means to say 9 is what? Perfect squared. Okay. So what's the square root of x squared? Plus or minus? Plus. Square root of 9? So what's x times 3 times 2? 6x. So there we go. Put it. Last one. Square root of 1? Square root of 25? 5. Square root of x squared? X. Plus or minus? Plus. Plus 1 times 5 x times 2? Yes. Is it correct? Yes. Hopefully, we look here. <laughs> looking at something, they want you looking at something. <laughs> <Four, four. laughs> you want the pie? No. Now why are you looking at the pie? Look at the sums, no? Nice. People, that is book A. Let's see what book B has in store for us. Book B, factorization. Sorry? School is this? Livingston. Livingston High School. This when I was there in 2005. Uh, 15, sorry. I drew this. 
this uh, worksheet up. Okay, because I had the learners at the time was there was uh, having problems with factorization, so I drew the worksheet up. But you guys must claim it, no? So you don't have problems with, with anything. Okay. So what we're going to look now at is uh, book B, worksheet 1. Let's take this out. So if you need to write, you can write here. Okay. Book B, worksheet 1. Ijatos. Here we go. Who would like to be a tap dancer? <laughs> huh? Again, you. <laughs> Did I speak to you already? You like me to speak to you again? <laughs> You're just tap dancing for the weekend. Yes. Right, here we go, people. Book. P. Worksheet 1. First column. Sorry? <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. This is still perfect square trinomials. Right. Right, let's do the first, yes? Zoom. Big enough? It says factorize. Right? Infactorable. If the polynomial cannot be factorized into perfect squares. Three of the polynomials cannot be factorized. Okay, let's see which three cannot be. If it's one of these three. Um, one of these uh, five sums. Okay. So let's do this quickly. I'm going to give you a minute to do the, the, these five sums. Is a minute too long? Sorry? It always made sense. It didn't make sense yesterday. Okay. Right, so do this quickly. Let's see. Let's see. So why didn't you tell me yesterday it doesn't make sense? Oh, you had to go to... <laughs> That's a good one. And yeah, I thought your mother sent you to school to do maths. But you actually came to school to eat your, your, your lunch. No, man. You know, listen, when you die, you break liquor. No? You must break liquor when you... Huh? You don't want to die, but it's inevitable. Definitely going to happen. There's one thing we're sure about, isn't it? Yes, that is one thing we show up. Sorry? Now you don't want to die, okay. Sorry? Enjoy life. You guys finish? Almost, okay. Give you another minute. Sorry? Try! You must always tell yourself, fraction is my favorite. Fraction is my favorite. Listen, you will lie to yourself so many times. Yes, you lie to yourself so many times that you start believing the lies you tell yourself. And she says it does work. It works. Okay, you guys, you guys got it? Was it last? We're struggling with the last one. Yes, sir. Listen. Okay. What's the square root of 4x squared? What's the square root of 1 over 16? And there you go. Uh, when you mold it, I'll do that on the board now. Yes, Michael. 
You should answer, answer all five. Right, here we go. Go for that, Tobi. Yes, yeah. 2x plus y. 2x plus y. Square. Next one. 2xy plus 3. 2xy plus 3. Next. 2x plus, plus 1. Square. Next. 2x minus 3. Just hang on, hang on, hang on. You're too fast for the board. The last one is 2x. We got all right. Relax. 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 Okay, anybody had a problem with any of these? The, the, the last one, you just worried about this term. Okay. So basically, if you look at this here, it's going to be the first term times the second term times 2. So it's 2x times a quarter times 2. What is 2x times 2? Over 1 times 1 over 4. Cancel. Right, homework. Second and third column of exercise for book B, worksheet 1. What do you want to copy? Okay, okay. Sure, right? Freeze. Let's look at worksheet 2, the odd numbers here. Okay. Pleasure. People don't waste your time. You all see? Why? Because there's a two, a four, a six, and an eight. You understand? We look at the, the worksheet there. Eh? That's what it looks like. You see? So I just cut that out because we're only going to look at the odd, yes. So do your thing. Okay, let's look at number one. Okay, relax, man, relax. What's the square root of ax squared? Count. Why? What's the problem? The a is the problem. So what do you think you're going to do? But remember, we, we are doing perfect square root, not so. So the square root of ax squared, the x is a perfect square root. But the A is not. So what do you think I'm going to do here? <laughs> Leave it like that and skip this move on. Yeah. No. Yeah. Boring. Yeah. Who's talking? Gabby, yeah. yes? Infectorable. Yeah. No. There we go. Don't you see that you got ax squared minus 2axy plus ay squared? So what is common? Yeah. Right, so do that quickly. Take out a is a common factor. Well done, Gabby. Well spotted. Looks like Gabby's the... the, the, the. And they get the full marks for the factorization section. Yes, and you, okay. And and Jamie, Jessica. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Benjamin. Oh, I thought now. Sorry. 
फोर्टी एक्स वाई है यस So let, let's do the first one together. Let's see some of you still confused. You see a is common in all three. So take it out. What do we left with? X squared minus a and minus 2xy plus y squared. So what do we see here? Oh my god, what is that? X, X? Yes. That's one. But what are the factorizations? Perfect. Square. So if the sum was x squared minus 2xy plus y squared, that would have been x minus y squared. x times y times 2 is negative 2xy. So yes, it works. So if it's given in this setting here, still perfect square trinomial. So it's going to be a into Square root of x squared is x, square root of y squared is y, minus, x times y times 2, is minus 2x1. So there is a factor. You want to times the a in? But if you apply the square and times the a in, I get that again. Remember, listen, if it says simplify, then your answer must contain no brackets. Okay? If it is factorized, your answer is going to be one term and contains brackets only. Yes? The girl's right on the hand? Go the right answers on your hand. Okay, on your hand. Yes? What did we just get the last part? So you went from here straight into that? Yes. Can you clever fast? Too clever. And you can go to grade 10 so long. You can go? You see, we survived. Right? Let's do number three quickly. Do three quickly. Number three, what can be done first? Five. Five is a common factor. Not so. Yes. What do we left with? X squared minus 8xy plus 16y squared. Not so. Now, what do we do? Over a bit. Okay. So now what can we do? The perfect square trinomial. So it's going to be five. What's the square root of x squared? X. Square root of sixteen y squared. And the sign? Negative. What's x times negative for y times 2? x times negative for y times 2? Negative? 8x1. Which is the case. You all understand? Did yes, so you guys greet? Grade um, 12, so you gave yeah? me the papers to moderate, but there's no memo. I probably didn't want to misplace it. <laughs> cool, thank, thank you. you. Okay, you guys finish with the next one? Okay, let's do number five. Don't have much time. Let's look at number five. We're done with five, we do seven for you. Okay.
Finish. Finish with the first one. Okay. Don't understand. Okay. So make a note here. It is a common factor. You first take out the common factor. You remember that, that your common factor will override all your types of factorization. So if you see a trinomial, a perfect tree, that and it's a common factor, you must do common factor first. You understand? You always do common factor So what is common in number 5? It's going to be 3 in the numbers. It's 3. It's an A, A and A. So it's going to be 3, A. Can it be X, Y? No. Why? The last term does not contain an X, Y. So it can't be X, Y. Go for it and look here, no? You're looking at the, you see, not watching. <laughs> you want with nature, you said, like in nature. Nice. Okay, so 3, three, three A is common. Mm. It's in all three terms. Three terms also known as what? Trinomial. So we ask that, okay? 3 A times, what's going to give you 12 A X squared Y squared? 4 X squared Y squared. 3a times what is going to give you 60axy? 20x. 3a times what is 75a? 25. 25. Just 25. Right, what's your problem, Michael? We actually understand. Well done. Give it a round of applause. Wow. One day we're all going to be like you. Just not today. Because I mean, you don't understand. Right, now what? What do you see inside the brackets? Factorize. What type of factorization? Perfect. Square. Trinomial. What's the square root of 4x squared y squared? 2xy. What's the square root of 25? What sign? So what is 2xy times 5xy, uh, times 5 times 2? 20xy, which is now? Put it. You understand? Let's do the last one. Last one. I'll take us to the next one. Listen, stop making noise outside the class, please. Okay. What do we need to do here? Is that or is that in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C? Is that in the standard form? No. So we must get it in that form. Okay, how? Put that one in front, not so much. So it's going to give negative 4x squared plus 4xy minus y. Who say that must be positive when you rearrange it? No. When, when does negative become positive? Taking it over the equal sign. Or you're multiplying it by negative or dividing it. So is it a negative? It's going to be negative. You remember that was plus 4xy minus y squared. Now she says, I said when you're going to do it as a perfect square trinomial, the last term must be plus. Not so. So make another note here. The last term must always be plus when we're doing a perfect square trinomial. So she's absolutely correct. She's listening for what? So what are we going to do here? If you're going to do a perfect square trinomial, the last term must be plus. The first term must, must also be plus. 
Yes. First, remember, if I'm going to take the square root, what's the square root of negative 4? Negative 2, you all agree? No. No, she's right. Ergo here, ergo. So that is not going to work. What are we going to do here? Nothing. No. Go back to your previous notes. We were busy with. We are busy with worksheet. Book A, worksheet two. Take your back. Many moons. What's the note we gave for that with that worksheet? Whenever the first term is negative. Then you factor, here we go. You see, you people don't read the notes I give you. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. So is this first term negative? Yes. Yes. So you you factorizing the negative. Here. So what do we leave to it? 4 x squared plus or minus? Minus 4 x y plus or minus? Minus plus y squared. Remember, when we take out the negative, every sign will change. And we can test it. What's negative times 4 x squared? Negative 4 x squared. What's negative times negative 4 x y? Positive 4 x y. What's negative times positive y squared? Negative y squared. You understand? Yes. Now what can we do? What is this to us now? Perfect. What do you say? Is it train? <laughs> what does he say about this now? I asked you what is this? You said what? Oh, a trinomy, okay. Perfect square trinomy. <laughs> what is the square root of 4x squared? Square root of y squared? Plus or minus? And we test if it's correct. 2x times negative y times 2 is negative 4x. So there we go. Understand? So for our work, I want you guys to do the whole of book B, worksheet 2. Including the sums you got wrong, and including the, the odd numbers. So that you can practice as well in the, at the same time. Okay. Are you guys okay with that? Okay. So a worksheet 2, book B, it's the whole worksheet. You redo the whole worksheet. If you listen, if I say the whole worksheet, then it's odd and even. Otherwise, I would have said even only. Why am, well, listen, why must you redo it? Listen, you must understand, but just to practice. Okay? Because there's not many of those sums, as you can see, that you can practice on. Okay? But check if you can do it, and then you can do the... The, the, the odd number. All right, listen. I think we'll stop here today, okay. Am I hearing somebody asking something for the blue book? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I almost thought I had some. People, you may pack up, enjoy the weekend. Five minutes, you hear? Five minutes, five sums. Okay, please sit down. Shh. You guys are having an event this afternoon. Eh? You must enjoy the event. All right.